Are you yearning for the days before nuclear war ravished our towns and cities? Will Voltec proudly present to you the console based time travelling machine? Now we can travel back in time to see the world of Boston before nuclear radiation destroyed our planet. Stay tuned to find out more. So as I kind of just alluded to in that rather bizarre introduction video there, today we're going to try and do something just a little bit different from uh, some of the other Fallout 4 videos that are on the internet. We're going to try and do an exploration of the uh, map, which you might say is pretty standard for a Fallout game, except we're going to do it pre-war. Now, the way we're going to do this, and I've not tried this yet, so this may or may not work. Uh, I'm going to stop wandering around for a second. Um, you just need to bring up the console which is normally either the tilde key or the at key and then once you've done it I believe you just need to type COC and this is case sensitive by the way so it's COC space pre wall sanctuary ext01 and then just press the enter key and then what happens is is the game will go blank for a second and just uh, start loading up as it seems to be doing now just give it a few moments and then all of a sudden everything is back to the way it was before the war happened so the thing the reason why I wanted to do this video is because when you uh, play the game uh, pre-war at the start of the game for those of you who have played it uh, basically you don't get a lot of time to have a explore of this pre-war thing basically you just have to run out of your house and you get quickly um, sent off to the vault and you don't really get a lot of time to have a wander around and see what things look like so I thought it'd be cool if we just did this little video so we could actually explore and see what uh, see what was what with the, the pre-war also you have access to your pit boy and stuff i'm not sure what fast travel and stuff will do i'll leave that to the end because it might absolutely break stuff um first thing we're going to do is i've not done this before so i don't know what's here and what you can and can't do but i'm just going to have a quick wander around and see what the uh see what the situation is so i'm guessing my house would be around here somewhere um there's a few cars parked in the street here none of the houses you can get into as far as i can see there's a few citizens um, just kind of standing around doing nothing. They all, ha These all have like uh, things to do obviously in the cutscenes and stuff but as there's no scripting going on here they're just kind of stood around waiting for Hi. things to happen. Um, they don't hey. actually respond to you when you interact with them or anything like that. Um, now I'm not sure whether you could actually ever go past this point. I don't think that would be the case because this vertibird here is obviously kind of in the way. And also clipping through the ground and <laughs> oh you can just walk straight through it actually okay fair enough um this is probably going to crash the game then um oh it's just going to be the end of the world actually it just seems to go off into the distance there but there's nothing there if you know what i mean we'll come back to that later because i don't want to i don't want to crash it um why is that just sort of <laughs> in the floor <laughs> so yeah you get to just have an explore around pre-war the river there, trees, must be autumn time. Just coming back into the uh, sanctuary again just to have a look and see if there's anything interesting. Not a lot, basically nothing you can interact with so none of the doors open, none of the cars do anything. Uh, there's like big privet hedges around which obviously have completely disappeared by the time uh, you get to have a proper look around here after the war because obviously it's nothing. there's nothing left but picket fences. In fact that's kind of strange actually because there's a lot more hedges instead of picket fences like there would be picket fences here I think in the um, in post-war but we can have a look around some of the gardens and stuff see this is kind of strange I find because I mean they've put detail in like barbecues and swings and all this stuff which you would never actually see during the opening um, sequence of the game because it just basically sort of herds you off to the vault and you never get a chance to even see any of this stuff so it's kind of cool. Pink flamingos. So we can have a look around the cul-de-sac. Quite a lot of these houses are obviously destroyed in the uh, in the post-war portion of the game. Let's see if there's anything interesting going on over here. 
can't really see over there actually so um, what I'm going to do in a little while is I'm going to just crack out the uh, no clip and have a wander around and fly once I've finished exploring on foot just wanted to see if there was anything on foot that was particularly interested oh um, the other thing you can do as well is let's just see if there's anything back here very quickly nope uh, the other thing you can do as well is if I recall you can get back inside your house yep so uh, Codsworth is still here um, he's not like fully interactive obviously like he is when he becomes your companion but he just kinda stands around the guy on the TV is there but he's not actually saying or doing anything um, everything's still here though like uh, the house as it was basically I don't think uh, your uh, wife is around at all turn the radio on it's one of the few things you can interact with I can close those doors and stuff but uh, so yeah you can just come back and have a quick look at this uh, I think can you um, interact with this no used to be able to make that play and play tune but you you can now but a lot of the scripting is broken I'm waffling on with myself a little okay um, there's not probably not a lot more we can see on foot I don't think unless we can have a look over here this is the way to the vault I would suggest um, we have quite a few people knocking around here. Um, we can go off route and go and explore the rivers and stuff. But what I'm going to do is just to make this a little quicker, um, I'm just going to crack the console out again and I'm just going to type TCL. And theoretically, that turns collision off, and that means I should now be able to kind of sprint around here, there, and everywhere. Even though it still looks and sounds like I'm running, I'm now actually flying through the air. Uh, that stick should not be there that <laughs> so we can just have a better overview of the map actually if we can zoom right out and just see exactly what is and isn't around just so we can see if there's anything interesting any easter eggs or anything uh, you know that's actually been built up or modeled oh yeah that's still there we don't want that um, I'm not expecting an awful lot from this but I thought it would be good just to check it anyway just to see if there was anything it seems like for the most part all of the terrain is here but there's no buildings or anything built in obviously so I'm not sure whether it's just like the terrain is reused from pre-war and post-war and just what's actually there and the textures used and stuff changes I don't know um, there's like a bubble thing around here for some reason but we can jump through there and go down to the bottom of the tunnel to see if there's anything here obviously there's not that's crashed the game oh no it hasn't it's loaded up another portion of the map oh it's taking me into the vault yeah it would do I suppose fair enough um, I didn't expect that to happen but okay so I guess this is the pre-war vault again <laughs> um, we can have a look and see if this oh no that's the uh, that's the wibbly wobblies <laughs> <laughs> that's the void uh, so yeah I guess the um, overseas office and stuff like that wasn't modeled for the pre-war that kind of makes sense since it doesn't appear there um, so there's nothing behind these doors uh, we can just have a quick look around though and see if there is anything else uh, I don't think there is okay fair enough let's see if we can head back out I'm just gonna head back up the lift shaft and back out into uh, into sanctuary if I can Driving along in my automobile, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. For those of you who wondered what a terminal looks like before the war, um, there you go. Just kind of looks the same, but uh, a little shinier, I guess. I wonder if it works actually. Um, I don't think it would do. Because I don't know if you can interact with objects while you're flying around, but uh, there you go. Give me your power armor. Since I've come back up from the vault back into sanctuary, I've lost my AP bar so I can't sprint anymore which is not particularly useful when I want to try and move around the map quickly I'm just gonna see if there's anything in these buildings by using the no clip but I'm gonna say there isn't a couple of dog kennels there um, okay so let's head this way Wow such realistic graphics so many polygons I'm just gonna head out towards the Boston kind of way um, just see if there's anything actually how out, out here I kind of get the feeling that this will probably crush the game um, and that it's not going to be anything except just terrain. There does seem to be buildings out in the distance, but I'm guessing they're going to be super low. Yeah, you can kind of tell from here that they're like really low polygon, there's nothing there kind of thing. So I don't think there's going to be like a lot to explore. Oh, hang on, what's this? 
Oh ah, yeah, I think this is some scenery that is supposed to be from Concord. It looks pre-war actually, post-war I should say, sorry, because it's kind of all um, broken up and stuff. So I don't know if that's just an asset that they just assumed would be so far away you'd not notice. I don't know if that's lazy or not, to be honest. It's nowhere near where Concord actually is, so, you know, who knows. As you get further away, the terrain seems to be getting even less and less detailed and textured, so... Now we just have things like pylons floating in mid-air and a big... But in fact, I think that's just skybox. I think this is a skybox, isn't it? Yeah. Well, a kind of a skybox. A little polygon box wrapped around the thing. Although, I do seem to be sort of moving across it, so I'm not sure if this is a skybox or... I don't know. I get the feeling this is going to take a very, very very long time to get to those buildings over there so <laughs> i may jump go this is kind of reminding me of um flight simulator 2010 especially the way the terrain is just kind of deforming from underneath me and how there was only ever one building and the rest of it just looked like a uh, google earth well this is kind of as close to these buildings as i can be bothered going really they're not particularly detailed and they seem kind of glitchy so there's not really much point in wasting time going further i'm just going to quickly just head back to uh, Sanctuary again if I can um, yeah the, I don't, I'm not really sure there's a lot more for me to say really I mean feel free to go and have a have a wander around yourself and see if you can find anything I missed but uh, yeah for the most part it's only the Sanctuary s section which is kind of pre-war obviously um, it, that was to be expected um, we'll see if there's just anything over here but I doubt it but yeah um, thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you know of any other little secrets or hidden things you can do in Fallout 4 to explore areas that you would not normally be able to explore I always find that kind of thing interesting so hit me up with a comment down below uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll uh, guess I'll see you all again on the next video take care Ta-da!